Time descends upon us like the cycle of life. Like it or not, the passing of time is imminent. You can choose to be an observer or welcome and embrace it like an honored guest. Time reminds me of an oncoming wave which can be observed or met head on. But at the time of collision, its momentum defies your presence, continuing to move forward on its trajectory, passing you by. In that moment, were you prepared for the impact? Did you brace yourself? Perhaps you did. Only to be presented with the history of the moment in time transformed into the past. In retrospect, one thing is certain. The wave will not return, nor can you catch up to its distant future, the past. As a result, disappears at the shoreline becoming a figment of your imagination. It is not the impact of time that is crucial. It is the preparation for a time within the abundance of time which is an ominous force that is perpetual at its presence. Time is like the duration of a great vacation filled with excitement and expectation which was predetermined from a plan produced from a thought that extends beyond the present to be manifested in some distant future. Time creates the past as it does the future while remaining in the present. The truth is in the eventuality of time as it waits for no one. Is time your master or do you profess that you master time? How so? The existence of time teaches us to prepare. Precious moments culminate into time. Be wise with your time. Acknowledge it. Though it makes no reference to you in its passing as time loss never equals time gain. Saving time. Is there such a thing? If so, you are only using the interest of time and banking the principle. The origin of the encapsulated space that engulfs the span of your lifetime is like the presence of a rushing wind from whence you know not it comes nor go. The abundance of time unequally carved is different for everyone. How long is your time? Can you tell? This endowed time must be endowed by your achievement, perpetuated by your quest to learn. Be faithful, respectful to others, love, serve, forgive, inform, be morally developed, produce great family bonds, cherish friendships, live healthy, garner wealth, be joyous, strong and confident while we must be gentle and gracious to its passage. Among the innumerable desires of your heart, remember to put God first to unlock the key of time. Make time a friend. Spend time wisely, for the only interest it has is humanity. As a final note, King Solomon said, All things are vanity and vexation of spirit. Time is the existence of perpetual life, not promise.